Yo, what's going on guys? It's Russ. In this video, I want to talk about how I get a 3 minute and 8 second clear on the new True Trial of Cunning. This is going to be a simple Amar build. Uh, it, if you watched my last video talking about how I got the other Tom on the other one, this is pretty much the exact same build. Um, but it is a little different because I do use a different action skill. And on top of that, I've run some additional gear that you probably saw me swap at the end. It was like, what, what is he doing? But if you had a good eye, you probably caught what I was doing. But I'm going to explain all that in this video. So I'm actually just going to start off with the skills really quick because it's not really that hard. This school assault, uh, I just have a bunch of stuff right here. I'm not going to go super in depth with it. Again, do harm is going to increase your damage. Avatar, you get two action skills. Uh, Transcend gives you more action damage. Lay Bear is going to make you do more damage. Awaken, it makes pretty much everything do more damage but i do have five and alacrity and three and from rest this is going to give you a lot of reload speed because since i i guess technically i'm trying to speed run it uh this is just going to give you a lot of reload speed to reload the gun and on top of that from rest is going to give you more charge speed since my main weapon is going to be the plasma coil um looking back at it i probably could have put one point in dread to help out with it a little bit but having five and alacrity is more than enough but in this developments uh three points indiscriminate to, to help ricochets you know act clear even faster tempest to get more damage illuminated fist is gonna be really good especially when i swap to my other class line because we're really trying to focus on melee damage and this is going to convert all your melee to incinerate since i'm running incinerate element which is going to be really really good as well with our artifact and you know in brawl again personal space to get more damage two and help enhance gets some damage reduction five and trusting yourself which isn't doing much you could kind of put these somewhere else kind of like heavy ring which will also be good especially with the plasma coil as you can see some of this some of this gear isn't even like that in depth like i could technically do this faster if i really focus on getting the right skills but this is just something i already have thrown together uh, but that that was essentially the skills that i was running but the main thing is the gear plasma coil while on 50 health do 150 bonus radiation damage it's really really good with the deathless and you've wondered why i wasn't running sustainment it, that that's simply because i'm running a deathless so i get the radiation and on top of that i can slot fast with the snow drip this is going to let you get around the map fast. This is also just going to let you obliterate enemies with the plasma coil. The plasma coil, as we know, is just insane. And it's just really, really good. Now, the MP5 is to also help with something like the snow drift so I can slide around the map fast, so I can get faster clear, so I can get to room to room really, really quick, which is nice. Revolter on axial start, facts to trigger on shield breaker film. When you pop your phase grasp, which will be Taz the Bond, as you saw in the gameplay. And I'm also running Steel and Summon just to you know lock everybody up in there easier the, the negative quarter rate doesn't matter like, too too much and i just like the ease of use with stealing some on uh but this is also going to probably give you more damage and fire rate whenever you use your phase grass for 15 seconds which is crazy and that's obviously going to buff the plasma score to kill things even faster i do have a axe gun and incinerary it's piss is good it's going to apply debuff this i don't even think i threw this on the balls at the end uh, in that gameplay so i could technically get a better kill because this will do 20 percent damage if i throw it on him which is really really nice and again phase zerker so i can get my axe go back you know weapon damage smg damage again buff the plasma coil like crazy but that's pretty much the easy part of this build as like as i'm saying the act clear part of the build is you know the easiest uh part that i'm sure most of you guys are interested in is when i just insta kill the boss without using something like remnant uh and that is because of the items i swapped to if you swap to something like the stinger then i, I swap to something like the muse and the unleash the dragon muse is giving you plus three illuminated fists which is going to buff your damage to 300 percent which is really really nice uh the main perk of this where you get the little uh orb that comes out isn't like the greatest it can kill some enemies which is nice but uh, i it's honestly just i'm basing on the damage that you get from it with splash damage and actual cooling rate you could also run breaker if you're just really focused on melee damage itself but this one will technically give you a little bit more and since you're focused on incinerate it is nice to just have illuminated fist now unleash the dragon uh if you don't know the way this works whatever you melee an enemy you're gonna apply a dot to them with mayhem scaling and just the shenanigans that amara can do this dot can just be absurd with some anointments as well. This dot is just going to melt enemies. Like, like with some skills I'm working get, you know, I, I don't even have points in Anima. Well, I have two points in Anima, not maxed out. And you already saw what it could do in that gameplay. And it's just, it's just crazy. Uh, so the way you're going to be proccing this dot, though, is with Stinger. So on Axel Star, any effect trigger, she'll break a field. Stinger is going to release a melee nova whenever it depletes. So with this anointment, since you are activating your axle, technically, you're going to release this nova. It's going to proc your melee. The nova itself also does a lot of damage. But then it's going to proc the Unleashed Dragon since you are meleeing an enemy with the nova. It will proc Unleashed Dragon on everything around. And on top of that, you're getting all these additional benefits with the Muse. And that all is just going to melt the boss. When you're doing it, though, make sure you're holding the Guardian Angel with a 390 anoint. Now, 
I'm honestly certain if you have like a Psycho Stabber, this would also work as well. But the Guardian Angel is just really good. So the longer you are away from enemy, you do more damage. So if you kind of run away a little bit, you will be doing a little bit more damage. But if you don't absolutely need the Guardian Angel, uh, the Psycho Stabber will, I'm sure, also work fine. But I just like running the Guardian Angel. And then on the second phase, he comes up. I'm phase grasp but again. Again, everything else is proccing, and it just insta kills the boss with all the other damage that you've done. Uh, it is insanely good. This is how you can just kill the boss instantly. And like I was saying, as you see from what I was running, this is the exact gear I was running. I've not changed anything. It, it technically could be faster. I could put more points in Anima. I could get Dread for faster at Clear Toms, which is really, really good. You know, I also could take points out of Trust in Yourself since I'm running a Deathless. This really isn't doing anything for me. And put in a Heavy Rain for more damage to get better at Clear Tom. So as you see, it could be better. And it was a three minute clear with just this. Um, so if you guys would like to try this out, I will post the build in my Discord channel. The Discord is linked in the description if you guys want to download it or just get the gear and put it on your Amaro, whichever way you want to do it. I also have some other gear over here, but I don't ever really run this. Uh, so yeah, just again, be sure to have incendiary equipped on Axe Skill and be sure to uh, swap for these for the boss damage and then for these for Act Clear. And you will absolutely destroy this new true trial event and probably any future ones that come out. But that's going to be all for me. If you did enjoy learn something new, consider subscribing. I'm on the road to 10,000 subs, and I'd love to have you on this journey. I truly appreciate it. But thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.